Welcome to week four. Last week I said I was going to talk about how I got my press penny collection. This is the story. So after I got done with the show Worlds Beyond Earth, the whole group exited into the space shop uh, that they call the Cosmic Shop. And after walking around and enjoying the big ball in the middle and questioning what kind of psychopath compares it to the size of a human brain, I saw a penny engraver. Now, I always loved collecting these engraved pennies. No idea why. Just always have. So naturally, when I saw the engraver, I had to get them all. Now, if you take a look at the pennycollector.com, you will see that the Museum of Natural History has a ton of these machines. I didn't realize that until later. And also, as soon as I saw the machine, I realized I left my bag of coins back at the apartment. But lucky for me, I had a few bills. Only thing is, though, the change machine was out of order. So I went up to the man behind the counter, and I asked him if I could have some change for the penny machine. To which he replied, I can't open the door unless it's a cash hill. Figures. So I wandered up some stairs, down the hall, to the right, into the museum shop, down a level of stairs, where I came to another cashier. I asked her the same question, to which she replied with the same answer. Can't open the door unless it's a cash sale. But then she added afterwards that there was another machine downstairs, straight back and outside the gift shop. So I did exactly that. Went down the stairs, straight back, and saw the change machine, and another penny engraver. So of course, I naturally needed to get those designs too. So I got some change from the change machine, but it only gave out quarters. So I decided to bite the bullet and buy something from the gift shop. Cheapest thing they had was a postcard for 52 cents. So I said, perfect. I go up to the man to embarrassingly buy a postcard. I explained to him that I needed pennies so I wouldn't be too embarrassed about it. He said, okay, rang me out. I gave him a dollar, I get the change back with three pennies. My introverted ass said thank you and moved on. So I went back outside the shop and got my three pennies. At this point, I was determined to collect them all. So I went back through the shop, up the stairs, got confused where the other flight of stairs were, turned around and found them, went up and out the shop, down the hall, into the cosmic gift shop, and I decided to buy one more thing to get the pennies. And lucky for me, they had the penny passport sitting right next to the machine. So I get the book and go to the counter, and then say to the man, I need 13 pennies. He then horrifically looked at me and stuttered, 13? To which I replied, or whatever makes the math easier. Then he gave me about 16 pennies. And after that, I went back to the engraver and got more pennies. I got to about three. And then I ran out of quarters. So then I went up the stairs, down the hall, to the right, into the museum shop, down two levels of stairs, straight through out of the shop, and to the change machine with the other penny engraver. I then got my change and got the last penny there, and I went back through the shop, up the stairs, got confused, turned around, got to the second level, out the shop, through the hall, into the cosmic shop, down the stairs, and got the last penny that I needed. Now by this time it was about 5 p.m. and the museum closes at 5.45. So at this point, any normal human being would be like, oh, I should probably start, you know, go looking around and see the museum attractions. But instead, I decided to torture myself and get the film footage. So I did that all one more time, and just when I thought I was done, I remembered the Penny website. So I then decided to look on pennycollector.com and see if there's any more engravers. To which there was on the fourth floor. So I went up the stairs, up the cosmic shop, through the hall, found the dinosaur, went up a flight of stairs, followed the tracks, found out the T-Rex was a show you had to pay money for, got lost, but then, after that, it appeared. Like knight in shining armor. I had found the machine. And as a happy ending, I had just enough to get all four pennies, and even got out with 15 minutes to spare. So, there, there's my penny story, but now I just learned that Ben and Jerry's, West 42nd Street, and 5th Avenue all have penny machines. Great mother of God. Why? Alright, it is now Saturday. A couple things I forgot to mention for last week. I have the best aunt and uncle in the world. Last week, they got me tickets to see My Name is Lucy Button. It's a fantastic play on Broadway. It is a play that stars Laura Linney. The official description of it is, A woman who wakes after an operation to find, much to a surprise, her mother at the foot of her bed. That was one of the awesome things I did last week. Oh yeah. Oh no. I can't believe I forgot this. Also last week, I went and saw The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. 
And one of the actresses there is Margaret Robbie. She was promoting her new movie, Birds of Prey. Which looks awesome, by the way. But now I can officially say I've been on this night show. Alright, so I know the weeks are getting shorter. Um, so th this should be it for this week. Next week, my uncle got me this New York pocket guide. And on the first page, they have a perfect day in New York. So stay tuned for next week to see what a perfect day looks like. So I wandered up some stairs, down the hall, to the right, into the museum shop, down a level of stairs. Shut the fuck up.